guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Peachy and this channel is all about my Sylvanian Families collection. For today's video I'm going to be unboxing two new sets in my collection and we'll also be doing a comparison. So on the left here we've got a really vintage set, so this is from 1999, it was a Japanese exclusive and it's called the Baby Toy Set. And then on the right here we've got a much more modern release, so this is the Baby's Toy Box Set and it's from 2022. I thought it would be really interesting to compare these two sets since they're on a very similar theme and there are also some pieces which are common across both. So we've got little cooker, toy blocks and also the toy train. There's loads of great videos for this set on the right here. I'll link some in the description for you. So you can go ahead and watch those at your leisure. What I will focus this video on is unboxing this set as you may not have seen it before and then I'll do the comparison. So let's start by whizzing through this one. And here's all the pieces out of the packaging for the baby toy box. Very, very cute. Lots of nice pieces with this one. Really like the colour palettes with the primary colours and the kind of woody brown as well. I also like that it comes with two figures. That's always fun, especially for younger fans. You'll be able to play right out of the box. The packaging for this one also comes with some very cute images on the back showing all the kind of play features and setup images. I love when they, these are included, they always look so full of life and character. So now let's move on to unboxing this set. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, this one is from 1999 and was only released in Japan as far as I can see. So it's really quite old now and the box definitely shows it, so this box is in not very good condition at all. I did know that when I bought it though and it meant that I got it for a really good price. As you know, I'm not an in-box collector, so usually the condition of boxes doesn't really bother me too much. I'm more interested in the pieces inside, and this one came with all the pieces, so that's what was most important to me. I do have a question for you though. When you get a box that's in like a state like this, would you keep it just because, you know, it, it's the box and kind of any box is better than no box? Or when it's in such poor condition as this one is, would you just kind of let that one go? And if you were ever to resell on a set, just sell it without the box? I'd be really interested to know in the comments because I'm just so, like, I'm so close to just putting this in the recycling. But... You might persuade me otherwise if it's better to kind of have the box just in case. But anyway, let's take a look at the box. So it's in this kind of older style packaging with the kind of cartoony flowers drawn on. Two tones, kind of a peach and a darker peachy colour. Not sure if this is the correct colour from when it came out or whether the box has faded a little bit. It does have this nice big window so you can see all the pieces though. On the side there is a setup image, this cute little baby, so that's a butter glove rabbit I think, playing with some of the toys. And it's the same on the other side as well. And then on the bottom there's just the usual like warning information and stuff. On the top it just says the name of the set again. And then here on the back is a setup image here on the left hand side which is very cute. Not dissimilar to the ones we just saw on the other box. And it also shows it with additional pieces. This toy box and this little cabinet were a separate set. And then here on this side it shows you all the pieces that were included within this set. So we did get bits and pieces from this in the worldwide range. Specifically this toy train set with the little trees and the station and the lights. So this 
was my main reason for wanting this set. I absolutely love this train set and I've been looking for it for a very long time. The set that it came in here in the UK was a family life set with the Beagle father and a baby I think and the resale on that now is astronomical, very very expensive, really hard to get hold of. So I was looking to see if this piece came in any other sets internationally or otherwise and I found this set from Japan and it came with lots of other cute bits so I really like the little cooker, the drum, this little saxophone. So I thought for me, being that I already have the Beagle um, family anyway, this was probably the better option for getting this train set and it was also a lot lot cheaper. So that was my main reason for wanting this set but there's tons of cute items in here. So let's get it out and have a look. So first off, tucked away behind is one of the biggest pieces in the, or the biggest piece in the set. It's the train tracks for the train set. You can see this is quite nicely detailed, especially for 1999. On the back it's just got the maker's mark there. It's quite sturdy. And then this set also came with two paper pieces. So these are toy boxes, so this one is for a patrol car and you can see there's a bit of discoloration on here but I figure it's held up pretty well considering the age. And then the second one is for a bath toy, this little toy boat. And again discoloration but I think it's held up pretty well considering how old it is. And then onto these pieces. So first of all we've got this little toy cooker. So this is hob with these dials, kind of looks like a gas hob. I like that it's got lots of different colours on it, they all look very nice together and it's got a good amount of detail on it. Then to accompany the stove are some cooking bits and bobs. So there is a pot, which is not dissimilar to the pots in the kind of adult sizes. So here's the little pot with its lid, cream colour with blue detailing and the lid does fit onto the pot. Then there's also a frying pan with this egg in it. Love that, I think it's adorable that it's got some food being cooked in it. Again this nice blue colour. Also a tea kettle, the kind that you could put onto a gas hob. The lid doesn't come off on this one but considering how teeny tiny it is I don't think that's a problem. Again this nice cream and blue colour. And then finally on the kind of cooking bits. There's this little matching bowl and spoon set or I guess it could be a cup. And these are cream with a green colour on them. Again, nicely detailed and absolutely tiny. We'll see in a bit when I hold them up to the babies. Then we've got some musical instrument items. So we've got this baby drum. So the sticker on this is held up okay, but it is a little discolored, but it looks all right, especially from a distance. It's got this nice red detailing on it and it comes with two separate drumsticks again in a red colour. Then there's also a xylophone, I love the primary colours on this, I think that looks really nice. And this again comes with uh, xylophone sticks to play it with. And this one might be my favourite, it's a teeny tiny saxophone that looks like the baby could hold it so we'll try that out in a minute. This one is lacking detail a little bit, it's just all solid blue, it would have been nice if like the buttons and this part here and maybe the top here had slight colour variation. 
but it is very small again, so minor complaint. Then there's this little clock that could be put in the nursery, I guess, for helping to learn to tell the time. It looks like it's a beagle dog. And the sticker on this one is a little wonky and not looking its greatest, but again, it looks fine from a distance. I think this is quite cute, would look nice on a shelf. Then we've got blocks in here, little pull along wagon. The blocks do come out, you can see them sticking to my fingers there. Again, nice primary colours on those. And they fit into the wagon very snugly, so that's always good. And then we have the bits and pieces for the train set. So here is the first train. Like the colours on this, quite pastel. Also got the wood effect on there. The wheels don't go round or anything and it is hollow inside but it should fit on the track. And it does. Fits on there quite nicely and you can kind of push it round. Quite easily. Then the set does come with a second train. And this one is in more primary colours, again with the wood effect on it. I like this one as well. I like that there are two different moulds on the trains. And again, no wheels, but it has this kind of box which helps it run around the track. And then finally on the train set stuff, there's a little station here. It steps up to it and it says Baby Park on both sides. There's two little trees which could be used around the station or just around the track in general. These are nicely detailed, nice bright green. And finally there's a little signal piece that can be put by the train track as well. This is absolutely teeny and it's got a very small sticker on it. I like the detail here that they've carried on the kind of brown on the stick and not just painted it all white. So I think that looks really good. And that is all the pieces it comes with. Now then onto the comparison of the kind of like for like pieces. Obviously there's some big differences. This one has the whole train set going on. This one has this rocking horse and toy box. I think overall the level of detail is pretty similar. But let's start by looking at train versus train. So obviously here's the two we've just looked at. And here's the one from the newer set. It is less detailed in its colour. The mould is still really nice and it is a different mould to these two. It could use a little more colour on it I think to make it just that little bit more special. However, it does fit on the train track. So that's cool. They are the same scale so you could play with them together. So that's nice. Then on the toy wagon. So here's the one from the toy box set. I love that it has this little bare face and ears on it. I think that's really really cute. The blocks fit in very nice and snugly and it's got a handle up here so it can be used as a walker toy. The wheels on this do not move but they are quite clearly moulded in. The colour on the blocks, I think it would have been nice if these two blocks were also coloured. But the wood effect is also nice. I think the walker itself is much nicer in this version. This one's a pull along but the walker itself is quite lacking in detail. The blocks in this one I think are nicer though, they're just a bit more colourful and stand out a bit better. Musical instruments, so we've already seen the ones here. This one comes with a different kind of musical instrument, this little tambourine with bunny ears. I like this, it's really well detailed, it's got the nice metallic plastic on it representing the kind of silver pieces and then it's got the turn here for the part that you would hit. I think this is a really nicely detailed accessory. I don't think it would look out of place if I popped it here with these ones either. 
So that's always good, especially for newer sets. I guess you could kind of look at these two pieces as being similar in that they're both kind of cuddly toy-esque. I think they're both quite similar on their level of detail. The bear is possibly a little bit cuter, but I know that this is a reused mould. I'm not sure about this one. And then this one didn't come with any paper pieces to fold or anything like that. So the final thing to compare is the cookers, I guess. So right off the bat, I'm going to say I like this one better. It really looks like a play kitchen. I like that it's got the oven, the hob and the sink and the little under sink cupboard all in one. And this sticker on the back is very cute and reminiscent of a play kitchen I had when I was younger. It's hollow on the back, so you could use it for storage, I guess. This one is also very nice, it's just different and I think this one fits the kind of theme that we're going for better. If I was a child again and had to choose which one I wanted to play with, it would definitely be this one. And here's the saucepan that comes with the newer set, it's got these cute little bear ears on it. However, this one has an egg in it and I like that it's, it's kind of got play food in it, so I think this one is nicer on that front. And then that's all the accessories for the cooker that you get in the new set. The old one has extras, but I'm sure, yeah, they'll fit on this one. So everything is interchangeable as well. And what I like about this is I think you could quite happily mix these two sets up and it wouldn't be super obvious that they were two different sets. This one obviously has a big advantage in that you get two figures included in the set, which is great you can kind of set up scenes straight away if you're a younger fan you can play straight out of the box which is always good this is more of a kind of top-up set for an existing nursery i guess because you'd want some of the furniture like this one obviously comes with the toy box i think it would be nice to have a toy box in with these and as we saw in the box that was sold separately let me get some babies in to set these toys up with and there we are, some added babies for scale. So we've got standing babies, we've got crawling babies, and we've got sitting babies. So all the different types of babies, except the newborns, as I find they're a little difficult to get to stand up. So these are all the kind of toddler sized babies. I've kind of mixed items from the sets together as well, and I just think they look so good together. I'm loving this little baby band we've got down here. The saxophone is adorable, and I managed to kind of pose the drumsticks and xylophone sticks so they look like they're being used. This tambourine can also kind of be propped up with a sitting baby. Uh, I just love how it came out, it looks quite lively. Definitely looks like a really fun playroom. Usually when we're doing these comparisons of newer and older sets, it's quite obvious that the older sets come with more accessories or they come with more detail or they're just generally kind of a little bit better than the newer sets. But for this one, genuinely, I could not pick between these two which one I think is better. So they both have some really cool accessories. They've both got things that the other one doesn't have. And the level of detail on both of them is really, really nice. You can tell that just by how well they mix in together. I think this is the first set we've seen in a little while now, which is completely comparable to the older Sylvanian sets. And that's really good to see. And I hope we see more of that coming out and that's all for this video i hope you've enjoyed taking a look at both of these sets and comparing them with me thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again next time bye bye for now